Psychology and neuroscience really help us to understand how people learn and how they change behavior in the workplace. So for example, we're beginning to understand that in order for people to adopt new behaviors, they need to adopt new habits. Something like 70% of everything we do, including our job, is habit. So you will not create new habits by going on a one-day program or a two-day program. That takes a much longer period of time. What this is telling us is learning needs to be more of a process so that we embed those new habits over a period of time so people adopt the new behavior. The second way I think psychology and neuroscience are helping us to change the way we learn in organizations is by helping leaders understand how their own brain works and how the brains of their followers work. And in understanding this, they can adapt their style and adapt the way they are working with their teams um, and helping them learn on the job, for example. So um, one of the ways to think about that is if leaders understand that their people need to know not just what they're doing, but why they're doing it, they can be better role models. Many learning programs have really told people what you want them to know. So you've either lectured them or someone's described a new model or a new theory and people have then been expected to adopt that model or theory into the workplace. What neuroscience is showing us is people are much more motivated to change behavior and much more motivated to adopt new ways of working when they have the insight for themselves. Creating insight is a very different way of delivering information. You need to put it in context for the learner. You need to help them have the experience for themselves of the new understanding. And you need then to help them be able to um, think about how they apply that new understanding to their role or their job. The second way I think neuroscience is um, pointing us in the direction of a different way of um, designing learning programs is, for example, how we get people's attention in a learning program and how we get them to retain what they are learning. So we know, for example, that people will remember much more about what they've learned um, if they're engaged with it. So. You know, traditionally we may have had many different um, learning media in a program. That's becoming even more important. But we also want to uh, engage people to get their attention in terms of what the learning means for them. Why is it going to make them more successful? <clears throat> and then I think the other aspect of engagement is how are they going to apply it? So if we help people to understand um, what the learning means in practical terms in their role, we're increasing the number of neural networks that are linked to that learning and we stand a much better chance of people then actually applying it. So for example, having clear goals about what they're going to do um, after the learning event or after the e-learning event um, monitoring those goals, getting some sense of reward for behaving differently, all of those things make learning more likely to stick.